at this beautiful place. It's a country park in the West Midlands. Got my lovely hubby. <laughs> King Crosshack. <laughs> Come on then. Enjoying Look. the nice um, warmer days. Going on the rabbit trail. Hopefully we see trail. some rabbits. Hopefully. The sun is in our eyes. Why have I got shy all of a sudden? <laughs> Can you spot him? Now it's all the way down, down, down there. I've made to walk. I have no idea what you're saying. You're so far away. <laughs> he thinks I can hear him, honestly. Mm. We're trying to find some rabbits, but I don't think we will find any. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. This is honestly one of my favourite places to come to. A bit far out, but obviously worth it. The car shadows. I think for a break, which we never do, we just walk and walk and walk. Yeah, I thought it would be Whenever nice we to go out, we just walk our legs up, literally. Sit and take it in. There's yeah. some nice, um, are those bluebells? Flip the camera around. Yeah, you can see there. Imagine living like in a place like this. There is a house around here. Wales, you have to live in a place like Wales. No, 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 to have... There's a house around here that's in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. And it just smells so sweet. And look at the stairs. It's really beautiful. And this place is really huge. There's so much to it. We actually usually come this way up. This is the first time we're going down. It's a massive workout when you're coming up. We have this dip. And look at the sky. Just have to make sure I don't fall. <laughs> Getting cubby to pose. <laughs> Is your head getting cut from the sun? Look at how beautiful this is. Well, it's covered by bluebells. It smells so fresh. Yeah, and it smells really, really sweet. Look at the sky, it's so blue. And tell me, spring is so beautiful. It's definitely my favourite season of them all. We're still on a search. For the rabbit. But we haven't seen any nature. <laughs> That's as much as we've got. <laughs> we have reached the peak. This is the top. Look at how it looks like you're so close to the clouds. And yeah, then look at... What? There's a cow there. Oh! There's a bunch of them. <gasps> yeah! Oh, they got a whole herd. Oh, yay! Can we walk? Is it closed? Is it locked today? They're there. there. Oh my god, this is the closest I've ever been to some cows. Look at how excited I am. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're petrified. <laughs> I'm not petrified. I just don't want to walk amongst them. I think they could get protective of their calves. I'm so excited. <laughs> I really want to get closer, but I'm also a little bit scared. You've told me all about the people that have died from <laughs> cows. <laughs> Trampled by cow. They're actually quite big, but they are really beautiful. I've never seen, they, they look velvety. Yeah, they do look velvety. Normally they're not. These ones are quite velvety. I think we found a human tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's got long legs. And yep, baby. And then <laughs> <laughs> I got this toy for the cats. It's an eagle. It's going to flap the wings, but you're going to put it on the ceiling. Our ceilings are really, really high. I don't know how. Should I show it to the answer? It's really loud. Oh, that's <laughs> good. That's, that's good. really good. Move it around so. <laughs> Is she running away from it? No, she's getting ready. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Aww. Okay, nice. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Don't worry, that if he's. Don't no, worry. Okay. You think it'll be okay? I can hold it. It's okay. Just leave it. If he grabs it, he's just gonna lift it up. <laughs> He's <laughs> still playing with it, Leo. I got Hobby a new jacket or coat. Is this a jacket? Yeah. Jacket. Um, but I think it's too big. I don't like it. <laughs> we started off Eid with the cats. Special breakfast here. He's eating the tuna. <laughs> Is he eating your food? It's getting away. Gonna go onto the sofa. <laughs> she spotted him. Oh, there we go. Gonna have a locust part of the family. <laughs> All right, <you're> done. <laughs> <laughs> We're preparing for age right oh, now. God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? This is what. Aid looks like when he's starting to prepare clothes oh, all over the chair. Han, are you for real? <laughs> What's your problem? Are you for real filming me? Yeah, why not? Han. We have to show people what we do in Aid. Oh, yeah, we're trying to, you know, get an outfit for him. So he went to Peacock's to get the jeans today. And humiliating. <laughs> why, is it, why is it humiliating? I don't know, man. I'm not a model, man. I ain't got swag up for this. We're not saying you are. We're just having a look at what you look like. Right, Leo? Yeah? I Sorry. just beat him. I just wrestled him in there. What are you talking about? And now you are KO on the floor. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what we bought for my niece. This is all her gifts here. This here is Birmingham University. Have you just got us lost? Lost? <laughs> lost. <laughs> Not lost. I turned left instead of right, and so I'm turning. You took, you took the wrong turn. So we're actually off to home bargains right now, and we need to look around for some aid gifts. Yeah, I need to get my mum something. That's the Birmingham of Uni entrance. Just made Hubby run back and get a bag from the car because we always forget them. And here we are, home bargains. We are up to see my mum. Wobbly wobbly because we're filming in the car. And my stepdad is going off to Egypt to see his mum. So going just to visit them before they go home. The white ones are the rarest. The pink and the white are genetic mutations of the bluebell. Yeah. They're so pretty. So the white are snowdrops? No, they're not. I used to call oh. them that, but oh. they're not actually snowdrops. They're snowdrops just white look different. They're white bluebells, yeah. I'm excited. Do you want to use your duck? Duck, duck. Okay, so I'm basically going to be making three meals. We're going to be having some linguine with like um, minced meat. Basically, it's going to be quite Italian, this meal. And then I'm also going to be making chicken curry with rice and lentils. So I've basically started with my onions. You're going to have your onions already. So I've got some for my lentil and then I've got some for my chicken curry. 
and this is for the rice this is for the mincemeat for the linguine i've got the linguine all chopped up i know everyone does it like standing up and all of that but this is how i do it grow up doing it this way can't remember the last time i've used the entire stove i've also got this one on as well okay so how i'm saving time is basically having all of these on and cooking at the same time and this one here while all of that happens i'm going to be cleaning and cutting the chicken and washing the mincemeat so all my onions are ready now i'm going to put in the chopped tomatoes so chopped tomatoes are going to go in this one this one not the lentil and not the rice over here so I've placed one and a half tins here and one and a half tins here. I haven't cooked for 10 people before, it's actually 12 people that are coming. So I'm really hoping that it all works out. I'm a little bit nervous because I usually just use one tin. But anyway, you're going to cook these until it's kind of shrunk and it's gone a dark brown instead of this bright red. And I still have that boiling away that I've turned off now, just waiting for me to put the lentils in as well as this one here. That's for the rice. I've cut all my chicken, so the cat's going to have this. That's all of the fat. And this is the chicken. I always use scissors. don't know about you, but it just saves so much time. Just finished washing the chicken. Now we're going to grab the mince and place it inside a big tub. Because I'm using quite a lot. See how the colours are slowly changing. And they're also shrinking in size. So we're taking the mincemeat now to wash it. So I've got the mince in now, I'm just going to cook that and mix it in to the whole mixture here of tomatoes and onions. That's just dessert. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to need, I honestly, honestly cannot recommend this machine enough. They're selling it at the moment in Lidl for £20 and they come with rolls and basically you can seal bags and honestly this makes your cooking so much quicker and so much healthier. You're also going to need one of these, a steamer, I swear by it, this and the other machine that I told you about, they go hand in hand. So I cook everything in here. I'm going to be cooking my chicken in here now. So these are the bags that you use. And this is how it looks in the bag. I'm going to be adding some paste inside, a little bit of water, and I'm going to leave this to steam. And then I add it to my tomatoes and onions to create a nice curry. We're going to finish it up with um, some yogurt and spices. I think I need to check on the pasta now. These are the pastes I use. I use a teaspoon of each one and I place it inside the bag and then for the water you want to place about up to here that much water. The pasta is ready now so I'm just going to sieve that. By the way let me know if you wash your mince or not. Once you've got your water and your paste in the bag with your chicken kind of mix it like this. Get it all mixed up. And then we're going to add it in here, seal it. I'll show you how to do that. So you just put about this much inside the machine, close it, and you have to press it firmly. I'm going to put it on moist, back and seal. This is really loud. And then it seals it, so it seals the bag. I usually do it twice. So I'm just going to click it again. If it works, yeah, there you go. You just wait for it to stop flashing. Alright, it's ready. So we'll open it up from the side. And there you go, you can see it's all sealed, ready to take to the steamer. Place that inside and then we'll set it on to chicken. And I'm going to do it for an hour so it's really nice and soft. And then press steam. So I think I'm going to soak the rice, the onions have shriveled there a little bit, and soak the lentil, wash it all so I can start working on those too. For your Italian pasta, you're going to add a tablespoon of cottage cheese. These are optional really. And I'm also going to add a bit of feta cheese. But I do recommend adding some yoghurt. I always love Greek yoghurt. 
Right, we're gonna mix all of that in. That's the yogurt, the feta and the cottage cheese. For your curry, add two tablespoons or three of Greek yogurt. I've also added one tablespoon for my lentil along with one teaspoon of a paste. And this is how the mince looks once you've mixed it all together. So now I'm gonna just mix this in for the curry and mix it in for the lentil. So you can see now it's starting to look a little bit more like a curry in terms of colour. I've also added a little bit of water and we've got a really nice paste going there ready to put the lentil in. I know that I mentioned I'm going to do the lentil and rice way earlier in the video but I'm only getting ground to doing it now. So I've got my lentil here. You know it's such a good job I've got these bowls. I use them so much. And then I've got my rice here. We're going to wash it all, get it nice and clean. So just until the water is clear basically for both of them. So to save time I've been really strategic about the way that I've been doing everything. So I haven't added any spices yet. We've got the lentil here. I've covered it with water. We've got the curry base all ready. I just need the chicken from the steamer when it finishes. We've got this ready and we have the rice that's covered in water. So now I'm going to need to add spices to this, spices to that and this and this and then get everything to cook this will be all ready just needs the spices so that will be done that will be done with the spices as well this will be done with the spices so there's just going to be this which just needs the chicken but once i have finished with this once i've finished with the spices i'm going to be adding the linguine and i'm going to be mixing it all in these are going to be your main spices i cannot live without curry powder i only add a little bit of cumin and salt so let's start with the rice, sorry I don't measure, just kind of go by what I feel or kind of experience really. If you want to see if it's right you can always kind of dip your finger into the water and see if there's enough salt. Now we're adding salt to this and the curry. Then the lentil. Now I've got my cumin. And to the curry. I do use the same spices, it's just that some will need a bit more and some will need less. I don't know if anyone adds curry powder to their rice but I do. I add it to everything. <laughs> Guys, it's a bit hard doing everything with one hand. Because this is a Italian dish, I'm going to be adding a little bit of thyme and Italian herbs. So this is the Italian seasoning. Also do not add turmeric to your lentil because it goes kind of green and it looks really awful. <laughs> For my rice, I really like adding a little bit of mixed pickle. This is the one that I use. So I just add it in there while it's cooking. I'm also going to add a little bit of this pesto cheese sauce in here. So that's the rice done. Just put that on and let it cook. My one goes on to warm automatically. And I'm still going to mix all of that in. I can hear some cars and now I'm panicking because I'm still like not even dressed. And I need to mix this up and put the lid on. And then this just needs the chicken. And then maybe I'll add a little bit of water to it. And this, oh yeah, I need to mix the uh, linguine into that. So this is how the linguine looks after I've mixed everything. And let's see how the lentil is getting on. And also the rice. I'm actually not going to lift it up because I still need it to steam. But yeah, it is cooked. And look at this one sitting on the fridge watching me the whole time. So I've just stopped this. It had two minutes, but... So that's how it looks. Section, so. 
just stepped in. <laughs> <Don't tell them. laughs> don't tell them Literally just got out of the car and <laughs> stepped in poo car, straight though. away. I parked next to the poo. Ta da! Nature's beauty. We always start hiking and walking so much as soon as spring starts. We wait all year for it. Look, golden lux and the three bears. Well, there's four, but that's where they sit down and have their food. And yeah, it was stolen from them by golden lux. <laughs> that's the third cucumber I've thrown and he still hasn't woke up. What's this, Pompey? What's this, Leo? Pompey? What's that? <laughs> you wanna? Yeah, yeah, good girl. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get the ball. I knew you were gonna like that one. You can roll it around, you can play with it. And the pineapple one, you can bunny kick. Oh, 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 here's... Oh, da, 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 da. There's a catnip for you. 